Breeding is almost overpowered in Power World, allowing you to create absolute monsters to run your base or use to defeat the truly powerful tower bosses in the game or tackle some of the more legendary PAL encounters out there in the Palapagos Islands. But do you know exactly how many potential combinations there are? Do you know how to hatch them all? And what's the most powerful PAL you could possibly breed in the game? Thankfully, we're here to cover all those questions for you, so let's get into it. 20,000, and that's just at the time of writing. That's how many potential combos of pals have been found so far, some producing very common run-of-the-mill pals that you can pick up basically anywhere, right up to some of the most useful and powerful pals you can possibly find. Breeding in the game not only gives you the chance to pass on certain moves and passive abilities, but can even make them lucky, kind of a pseudo-shiny with bonus stats. And while the PAL World player community is still working out exactly how it all works, some very clever people have been able to piece together exactly which PALs are able to breed which variants. But we'll get to that in a minute. If you're new to breeding in PAL World, there are a couple of things you need to do first. Most importantly, leveling yourself up to level 19. Once you've done that, you'll be able to unlock the breeding farm from the technology tab. And it shouldn't cost you too much effort to build it because the materials required aren't that difficult to get. So once you've got it built, you're ready to move on to the slightly trickier process to automate, baking cakes. You should have unlocked access to the mill and wheat plantation at level 15 and the cooking pot at level 70. And these are the things you'll need along with ideally a couple of berry plantations and a ranch to really ramp up your ingredient farming. Every cake requires 5 flour, 8 red berries, 7 milk, 8 eggs and 2 honey. All of which can be easily gathered back at your base if you put a chicky pea, a mozzarella and a bee guard in your ranch. Once you've assigned some pals to work your wheat plantations and your mill to get the flour rolling in, making cakes becomes, well, a piece of cake, using the cooking pot that you should set up near the breeding farm. By the laws of equivalent exchange, one cake usually means one egg. So as long as you've set up the automation, you should be churning out new eggs fairly quickly. But since each breeding farm can only make one egg at a time, choosing the right pals to breed for the result you want is pretty important. You don't want to be wasting time trying to make a pal that will absolutely revolutionise your mining operation and then accidentally make a lambo. That is where a nifty new tool made apparently by Reddit user Fluffy Dialuck, and we can only assume a decent number of helpers from the Pal World community, comes in with their Pal World breeding calculator. And it will absolutely change the way you put together breeding pairs in Pal World. Taking all the guesswork out of the situation, the calculator allows you a number of options. You can input the PAL you actually want to create, at which point the calculator will present you with a number of options depending on what pairs will create it. Or if you have a certain pair you want to try out, you can input them as parents and get a quick result on what offspring they will produce. So say for example, you were looking for a way to breed a Jormantide with what you have in your PAL box, you can search it up and it'll deliver every currently discovered way to get your PALs to breed one, taking all the guesswork and difficulty out of the system. Genius. Regardless of the combinations you can find, obviously, if you find a pal with a move you like or a pal with a passive ability you like, breeding them can combine the two, leaving you with your perfect pal. But what's the most quote unquote powerful pal you can possibly create with breeding in Pal World? Well, it's hard to get much better than Frostallion Noct. Made by combining the legendary Frostallion with Hell Zephyr, you can create an absolute monster. It's a defensive tank combined with an attacking powerhouse, and while individual stats will always differ, it's pretty much the best pal you can get. Equipped with the Black Steed pal skill and the Dark Element type, as if all that wasn't enough, as an added bonus, even out of combat, it comes with Gathering Skill Level 4 built in, so it's a beast around your base as well. Add to that that it's a flying mount with a boatload of HP to boot, and you almost can't go wrong with Frostallion Noct. So there you go, now you know how to breed any pal in Pal World without ever having to worry about getting any of your combos out of whack. Thanks for watching, let us know which pals you've been breeding the most in Pal World so far, stick with us for all your Pal World news and guides, and while you're here with us, you should check out these videos here.